So Bashar, if you're so successful as an Amazon seller, why teach? But most importantly, aren't you creating your own competition? Well, I'll address those, but I want to address the second question first, but let me just take a quick sip out of my tea. So you see, the second question is, aren't I creating my own competition? And that could be true, but I still remember back in 2006 when I first migrated into the US, um, I came to the US on 06, 06, 06. Just a few months later, it was Thanksgiving. And I still remember um, going to my uncle's house. On the way to our house, I saw a bunch of people lined up outside of what was Best Buy. And I told him, Uncle, what's going on? Well, why are all these people standing outside? And mind you, this is Detroit in, you know, in, in late October. It's snowing, it is freezing outside. And he said, you know, he started explaining to me what the Black Friday was and the deals and all that stuff. And I remember over the, the years, I started seeing those lines get shorter and shorter and shorter until where sometimes you can go to Best Buy and literally walk, just like walk into a store and buy whatever it is that you want. And that's simply because people's shopping habits have completely changed from retail to online, especially after the pandemic. It's just more uh, convenient. Those that only shopped a little bit now shop a lot. Those that didn't shop at all now shop. Um, and they just realized how more convenient it was because they were forced to do it. So that's the second question is that, look, there are millions of products every single day being launched on Amazon and millions of sellers every single day buying products on Amazon. Amazon makes like $600 million per minute or something like that. I mean, they make so much money that it, you know, for an average seller to make five or six or even seven figures on Amazon isn't out of the blue. Now, the second thing is, why did I start selling on Amazon? And I think that's a, a more of a pressing question that a lot of people ask. You see, in 2018, um, I had kind of had made it, right? Because three years prior to that, I had lost everything in a restaurant. I don't want to go too much into that. Some of you that are following my page or following me uh, for a little bit probably know about that story. And I had lost $500,000, was $150,000 in debt. And then, three, and then just about a year later, I discovered Amazon. And about a few years later, I actually had, you know, been doing well. I was doing about $10,000, $15,000 a month in net profits. And things were great. You know, I had a store that was doing about seven figures per year. And things were great. Um, but then I woke up one day and this is when I started really understanding my personal habits. And this is when I created a kind of like a, um, like an alarm almost, a mind, a, a, an alarm in my mind that triggered every time these things happen. And this is when I knew that I was getting comfortable. Going to sleep late, waking up late, uh, traveling a lot, you know, getting bored of working and not working that many hours. And this is when I realized that I just couldn't do exactly what I was doing for the next 10, 20 years. My debt was getting cleared. I was helping my family a little bit and things were good. You know, I was traveling with my wife, but then I realized I just wasn't the travel kind. You know, you're not ever going to see me traveling and posting uh, stories in Cabo or in Tulum or in Maldives or whatever. Although I might do that sometimes, but I'm just not that guy that's going to go on trips. This year in 2021, so far, I've only gone on one trip, and that's just back to San Diego, California to visit my family, and that's it. And it's already October. I don't plan to go anywhere until December, where I'm going to go spend two weeks with my family, and that's really it. We go out. I love enjoying great dinners. We go out to nice dinners, and I love doing that. We'll spend a few hundred dollars on, on a good dinner, and this is what I enjoy. This is what I love, but traveling, I don't do, right? Uh, Wearing expensive stuff and spending stuff, a lot of money on lavish stuff, I don't. I'm still wearing a broken watch that doesn't even tell the right time and a $30 t-shirt and $60 jeans. So you see, to me, I knew that materialistic stuff wasn't it because I bought a Bentley and I sold it a year later. I went to trips and I stopped going to trips. I had the money to live that kind of lifestyle, but I just didn't because that just wasn't the thing that kept me waking up every morning and wanting to accomplish great things in life. But I also knew from previous experiences that if I wasn't going to keep growing, I was going to eventually die because whatever doesn't grow dies. Gravity just does its thing and pulls you down. So I had to find something that I would be excited about every single day to wake up 
to say, you know what, I have something exciting that I want to accomplish today and I want to get it done. And I've seen this happen with a lot of entrepreneurs out there and a lot of successful people. Once they get success and they achieve that 10, 15, $20,000, $30,000 where, look, the average Joe doesn't make that. If you're making 20 to $40,000 per month, you are part of the one percenters because the one percenters make anywhere between 350 to 500,000 per year, depending on what state they live in or what country they live in. Now look, if you're enjoying the story so far and you want to see more of this channel, please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new and also smash the thumbs up button and let us know in the comments what more you'd like to see from our channel and our videos here. So then I knew that I needed to go after something that was going to truly speak to me deep down and that was going to truly help me and make me want to wake up every single morning and accomplish that thing in life. And I knew, you know, selling on Amazon wasn't going to be it because I'm not connected to the products as much. I don't talk to customers. It was just me and a VA overseas and I can grow this business to tens of millions of dollars, but it just wasn't going to be meaningful for me, right? Now, do understand, any of the any anything that I am doing today, BJK University, anything else wouldn't be have been wouldn't have been possible had I not discovered Amazon. So then, at around the same time, a few relatives had been reaching out to me and asking about exactly what it is I was doing, and I started showing them. And then a few other relatives started reaching out, and I started showing them. And then a few of them got results, a few others got results, until one day I got a message from somebody that I was helping that said, Bashar, in the last six months, I've made $36,000 in net profits. And I remember something deep down truly just changed. I felt finally fulfilled. I felt like something was finally speaking to me, that it's something that I could actually do for the rest of my life. And that was helping others achieve better things in life. Because this guy, just before that, he was a FedEx driver driving 10, 12 hours every single day, where now, He's made on average $6,000 per month, which is not something that he could have ever accomplished in his life or ever, you know, been able to get exposed to. Now he's aware of so much more. And unfortunately, that's what happens to a lot of people is that they are just not aware of the missed opportunities. They're just not aware of what's possible. And that is where I found myself that I was becoming passionate about this thing that helps impact other people's lives. And I felt like that I had a moral obligation that I now have a way that I can help other people. And if I didn't do it, I would have a moral obligation and I would feel like I am actually going against benefiting society and that I'm actually not doing everything I can to make sure that my kids and my, the future generations are living in a better society. Because look, let's face it, Colleges are great. If you want to become a doctor, if you want to become a lawyer, if you want to become an engineer, colleges are the greatest place, which maybe somebody's going to come out with a course on how to do that in a few uh, short years. But before that, colleges had a monopoly on education. Human beings always want better things in life. They always want to educate themselves. And the only way that you can accomplish better things in life and bigger things in life is that you have to get educated. You have to know. You have to be in the know. You have to become aware. But until now, we had a system that was sold to us by society that this is the norm. This is the way of doing things. But just a few years ago, there has been this brand new uh, 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 um, category of learning, of e-learning that became active and became alive. And that's where online courses started becoming a big thing of society. Again, it's literally doing exactly the same thing that colleges and schools do, but it's just doing it a lot more efficiently and doing it in a much shorter time. Because for you to become a, a successful uh, uh, attorney or get a degree that can get you a job, you need to spend years of your lives. It'll probably cost you anywhere between ten to twenty to fifty thousand dollars, maybe that much per year, not the whole thing. And then hopefully someone will hire you, and then that job even have a cap. Where with a an, an online program, a program that we teach, you could get the same you know type of skill or even a better skill. In instead of getting a job working for someone else, you could actually 
go out there and, and find a, a start your own business, a business that you've probably been wanting to start. You know, you've, uh, you've probably wanted to do something where you're flexible, your hours are flexible, you can set your own, you know, your own, uh, um, your own schedule and you can do things on your own terms. And that's exactly where I saw an opportunity that I can help people accomplish that. And again, I felt like I was obligated, but most importantly, I felt fulfilled. And this is when BJK University was born. This was around 2019. And ever since then, we've graduated over 2,700 students and it's growing massively because the word is getting out and people are understanding and realizing that there is better ways out there and that there is a better way of accomplishing success in life than just going the traditional route of schooling, spending years of, of, of your life. And again, I'm not speaking badly about school, but I'm speaking badly about school because the school system was created and is being taught by people who have never really accomplished great things in life. Now, yes, there are professors out there that are multimillionaires, even some of them billionaires. I've even seen Bill Gates and, 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 and uh, uh, Warren Buffett give some lectures at colleges and that's awesome. But most of the traditional colleges are being taught by professors who have never made 50, 60, or more than 50, 60, $70,000, where they're trying to teach you about economy. An MBA degree is being taught by a professor that's never made more than six figures in their lives. So it's like, how exactly is it that you're going to learn how to become a successful business owner and make hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in your life, if you're being taught by somebody who's never done that in their lives, right? So the school system, from what I can see, is only designed to create employees that can support the, you know, the school system or, you know, support the economy uh, by working inside of the economy and, and, and pretty much putting like blindfolds on people so that way they don't see what's on the other side. They don't see the potential. They don't see, you know, they don't become aware of what else is out there, right? It, and it kind of reminds me of back home uh, in Iraq. Uh, 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 under the ruling of Saddam without getting into politics, we had a great life, you know? It was secure, it was great, everything was great, but we didn't know what was happening. We were very, uh, um, uh, we were very kept inside of the country. We did not have uh, cable, we did not have dish, we did not have internet. We didn't know what was happening around us in the world, right? We only knew what was there, so it's kind of the same thing here. So again, for me, I feel like I have a moral obligation to, to explain to people that there is a better way and a different way, you know, of doing things. It's a lot more affordable. You can start in a much shorter time. You can launch a business and become profitable within year one. And you can do it with less than $10,000, where if you go and get a degree, say an MBA, so that you can start your own business, might take you anywhere between two to four years. It might cost you anywhere between twenty to fifty thousand dollars, and after it's like, well, what now, right? What now? It's not a step by step on how to start a business. It's just a degree that looks pretty on the wall, and that's it. And it sounds cool when you say I have my master's, right? That cost me fifty thousand dollars, and I still haven't been able to recoup that money. So, anyways, this is exactly why I started BJK University. Today, we have nearly thirty partners within our university to help you impact your life, help create great content like this, get it out there, promote it, advertise it, get people to see it so that way they understand that there are other opportunities that are possible for them. And we have coaches inside of our university that work you know, uh, 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 tirelessly uh, side by side our students to make sure their success and we're always improving. We're not perfect, we're far from perfect, but we're always improving, making sure that we deliver the best result in the shortest time possible. That is our promise and our long-term vision is to disrupt the education system and provide people like yourself with better opportunity and a channel that you can accomplish great things in life without needing to waste years of your life or spend tens of thousands of dollars learning shit you'll never use in your life. Outside of that, thank you very much for watching. If this is your first time, again, subscribe. If it's not, be sure to do so and smash the thumbs up button. Below this video, there's also a link to a short presentation where we explain exactly how working with BJK University looks like, what we do. At the end, if you think that this is a great thing, there's gonna be a short survey where you fill it out, you qualify for a one-on-one -on -one call, you get on a call with one of our enrollment advisors where they break down to you what's going on, answer your questions, and then extend an invitation to join BJK University if they feel like you'll be a great fit. 
Outside of that, thank you all for watching. See you guys in the next video. Take care.